I'm Desiree. <laughs> and I do. She's Desiree. <laughs> she is. Can I see some ID? Um, no. I knew it. <laughs> Trump is so going to export her. Export. Export? Export. Import? Imp no. There will be a wall involved. What is the show. sketchiest, the worst <laughs> show location that you've ever traveled to? I did a show in Corpus Christi and it was by far the worst experience I've ever had doing an art show. Where is like, this is my, the best place. I absolutely love this art show and would live there full time if I could. Oh, Utah Arts Fest, of course. Like, I mean, I do live here full time. <laughs> so. I love doing shows in the Pacific Northwest and I love doing shows in Austin. See, yeah. Texas, we do love parts of you as well. Yeah. And we do remember the Alamo. I forgot. But I couldn't make anything to, to do with it. But, you know, Alamo, and then this was Black Sabbath's last tour, and Ozzy got arrested for peeing on the Alamo. What? Like, I don't know what I Ozzy pees on. I'm actually not concerned about that at all. You, you should be. It's, it's not just the urine content. Like, you know the actual chemical content of that stuff? Like, it's probably pretty toxic. Can I get high off of Ozzy's urine? You know, I can't claim to know from first-hand experience, but I think you might be onto something. Ozzy, bottle that sh what color is that? You tell me. It's magenta. Red violet. Yeah. yeah, you're a failure. I went to black and white art school. <laughs> I'm so old they didn't have colored crayons in my day. But feminism and art. Here, okay. Well, not feminism and art. Fem bra burning and art. Let's, let's bra burning is an art. A little bit of a... The art of bra burning? The art of bra burning. That has to have been done. Would that, would that be a feminist studies book or an art book? Or would it be like a 70s history? If you had an American flag print bra and it was burned do you think people would freak out about it no i like some kids individually like i just don't like as a group yeah, i feel like kids are kind of whole. assholes <laughs> and let's be honest as a whole i don't really like people either so let's just <laughs> so art kind of called to you it's anyway hi i'm desiree lee i don't really like people and that's why god invented alcohol oh this is good this is good material all right um that's the most awesome like, thing in the universe! Oh my gosh! Right oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a unicorn that shoots rainbows out of its mouth! It's nose! Really Just... <laughs> Over time, her work has developed to include watercolor, tea staining. Tea staining? Is that really an artistic thing? Or did you just spill your drink one day? I think I came about it because I was trying to make things look old. Did you ever, you know, you're painting and you're drinking your tea and then you accidentally mixed up the two? Yes. And then you, had, then you got lead poisoning like toulouse lautrec no no but look at you throwing out your art knowledge <laughs> what is a movie or a show or even a song maybe that you loved as a kid and then you grew up and watched later and thought wow that just really really didn't hold up for the test of time oh no i wanted to talk about the one that did okay well no no that's cool what, which is the one that held up then that's cool Well, the last unicorn holds up the one that didn't hold up was the care bears movie <laughs> I loved that Childhood as a kid, and you know, it doesn't ruins. really, yeah, it doesn't really hold up. Lady Hawk was mine. Oh my god. Lo loved Lady Hawk, and watched it again <laughs> and went, what the f The soundtrack. I, I can't sing it, I can't describe it, it's just awful. It's so horrific. I think they were drinking Ozzy Osbourne's piss when, when they made the soundtrack for that. Oh, I'm, pretty, come full circle. I'm pretty sure that's what brought it around. We've come full circle.